Hello and welcome to another Innistra draft. I'm trying my hand at 8-4 yet again. I'm looking at a blood gift demon. And a dead weight. Oh boy. I've not played with this card, but it looks sweet. And I prefer that over Instigator Gang. This will probably be my last Innistra draft. I just did a pre release of uh, Dark Century over the weekend, and it looks sweet. So I'm getting really excited for that. But in the pack, a lot of strong white. So maybe we'll try to hunt for a blue black, maybe a red black aggro. But uh, this dead weight's gonna go, which is sad. This is gonna go. This will probably go probably later than it should. That's gone. That's gone. Yeah, it sucks that we're uh, dead weight's going, but this demon's sweet. And what do we get? Well, we could go black, blue. I don't really want to jump into white because there was a lot of good white cards in that pack. So the question is, do we go black, red, or black, blue? I mean, obviously the blue cards in this pack are infinitely stronger. As far as what I prefer, claustrophobia or grasp, I think I'd rather have claustrophobia. Yeah, not a whole lot of black going on. Mass coin table, which is decent. But uh, Cluster Rogue is just a great card to pick up. And what do we have? No black, yet again. That is a slight cause of alarm. And in this pack, I mean, Priest is the strongest card. Easily splashable. Or we can stick with blue, go with the Think Twice. But, uh, power level alone, I think Priest is better. And, you know, maybe we end up with white. And like I said, this guy's always splashable. And, hmm. I don't want to go about it. I think I take... I mean, uh, there's a lot of white in the past. I don't want to just... Outfit a guy entirely with a great white deck, especially when this card's so easily splashable. I'm a big fan of Think Twice, but I think I just take the better card here. And still, <laughs> I don't want to get shut out on black, but it's looking like that's what's going to happen. And still, more white comes our way. I mean, closer to you, the solid. Voice of Spirit's great. I mean, maybe we take a walking course? I mean, Blazing Torch keeps us open. I still kind of want to stay out of white. Maybe we take a blue card. Uh, Blazing Torch. And Leaning Torch, that it's removal. It goes in every deck. I mean, Voice of Spirit's good. Walking Corpse is actually pretty good for us. Maybe I take a two drop here and just hope that black eventually comes. Yeah. Not sure about that. Finally! It's a black cards. Nothing incredible. Uh, we could get some nice aggro elements going. Dire Fool is decent early. Uh, we could try to push blue black zombies. That being said, I mean, Ghoul Razor's value, but I think maybe we just try to get an aggro element going. So we take the Diagraph Ghoul here. Then we have to worry about the double black, but I mean, double black in a five spot is much better than double black in a three. I mean, Sensory, we still might take one of those, which I might play at this point, but I am happy taking a Ghoul. It's not the worst card. Uh, think twice. Maybe we we shouldn't be blue. There's still a lot of white and black. Cluster of is solid removal. I mean, the other choices are Village Cannibals, Bell Ringer, Pitchburn Devils, Shadow's Amulet, which I'm not too keen on at this point. I do like to think twice, but I mean, Pitchburn is probably the strongest card. But I just don't like red. 
So I think I'll take a thing twice here. Still try to hope that we end up black blue. I mean, hopefully pack two will get some pass some good black cards. Uh, I think I take a Stitcher's Apprentice here. Not a whole lot else. I mean, there are which is decent. But I mean, it's not a lot of curses to go along with her. So yeah, I think uh, Stitcher's Apprentice it is. Or we could do Selfless Cathar. But I think I'd rather push, push the blue and black. Ugh. Got a bump of the night. Hmm. This demon. Maybe we're trying to push it and make it work too hard. Back two, we're gonna have to hit a lot of black. So we can take bump in the night. I mean, all we got so far is flashbacks. Think twice. Maybe we get more. I don't see it splashing red, although it's kind of out of the realm of possibility. Uh, I hate Silver Dover. Take it. I hate it. Ultra Dreep looks like the pick here. Some decent green cards. Going late. Or Inspire is uh, pretty solid. But uh, Ultra Dreep. Here we go. Kinda get rid of a mask that I hate this card. I really do. It's really dirty. Take a curse. Cool call this chant. Well we got some zombies. So we'll try it. Uh cowlings, sure. Sure. Yes. So not the best starter. I don't really like too much what's going on here so far. I just copied the wing and some really repetition for now. Maybe play the curse, I don't know. Nothing too exciting. Well, now it's a choice. Uh, why do we <laughs> keep opening dead weights, but I don't think we can take it. Unfairly rights is super strong. And I really think that I'm going to be splashing white for this. I have some priest. But, uh, Murder of Crows, Burial Rites. This pack's got a lot of stuff that's probably not going to wheel for us. Maybe we get the feeling of dread out of it. But I think we take Murder of Crows over the Burial Rites, because as it sits right now, this is our only creature that's worth a shit. I mean, I would like that dead weight, but, uh, Murder Crows outweighs it. <laughs> okay, Moreland Haunt. Well, it's, I mean, it's workable. We are going to need the white splash element to really get it online. So, I mean, it's super strong, but we could take, yeah, it's, it's worth it, I think. I mean, a Lantern Spirit's good, the Assistant is good, the Walking Corpse would be good. But this can uh, give us a lot of legs, a lot of chunk, it can buy us time. And, uh, so we're gonna have to look out for some type of splash element for white. Traveler's Amulet being... I mean, Free but Centric is solid, too. And we don't have a 4-drop. Hmm. As far as, I mean, what's gonna be dying? We have an Altar's Reap. I think, uh, I think we take the Sentry. We're low on creatures. The Haunt would be good. Oh, there we are. I'm, I'm a little happier about that pick now. This Muslim Hugo is gonna get this working. Now, do we take another 4 drop? Which is a zombie. I mean, Scam of Life is good, but I think our late game is looking pretty solid with our two flyers. And I really like the ghoul. He holds down the ground rather well. And the late game is always critical. 
Yeah, I think uh, I'm, look I'm liking our top third quite a bit right now. Uh, Corpse Lunge is looking like what I want to be doing here. I do want a Forbidden Alchemy. I, hope I doubt we'll get it, but I would like one. Yeah, we're still going to need some fixing, but I think I'll take this removal spell. There's some- holy shit! Look at all this fantastic blue. Man! I mean, these two are super late. I think we just take another removal spell over the system? I mean, I would- I keep seeing these, so maybe we'll get lucky. Absurdly lucky and get another one. I can't pass up late removal. And a makeshift mall? Well, we're not gonna be playing this curse, I don't think. Another zombie. It's another four drop. Maybe we're just better off suited and getting a rat? Hmm. We're gonna take a Patrician. A very nice three drop, more life gain. I'm more, um, Muller's a better card, but I'm more inclined to take the Patrician for curving purposes. Yeah, our four drops are solid enough. I'll never say no to a sideboard scarecrow. That's a nice late pickup. And a late alchemy. And a feeling of dread, wow. I think alchemy is going to be a little more useful for us. Well, feeling of dread's pretty good, but yeah. That can help us fix. And, ooh, nice. Drain's assistant. Walking corpse is pretty solid, but I uh, make a nice little ramper. I wish I kind of had red. But uh, I'll take a fence snake. I think it's an undervalued card. It's solid. And then not too excited about ghoul holders, but I'll take a sideboard land hate. What do we got here? Now I'll take it for some more. Uh, ghostly possession. It's got to be for a mill strategy, right? So, uh, we want, hmm, Shimmering Grotto, that'd be, uh, that's up on our pick order, Traveler's Amulet, we're gonna need some fixing, shitload of green, Spider Spawning, Grimstone Volley, I hate passing both these cards, could just take an Interloper, Which isn't bad. Oh boy. Someone's getting a gift of a brimstone volley, that's for sure. You can take another drenched assistant. What's our move removal looking like? Increased. Two phobias, corpse lunge. I think I just take a blazing torch. I mean, I hate passing this card. I just know I'm going to be seeing it. But I don't really want to stretch us out for green or rely on us to have it. Because we have no discard. I could take a deranged assistant. I think one's enough. I think I'd take the blazing torch here. I don't, I'm not interested in a creepy doll. More green. Maybe we just take a rebuke. Oh, there's a Travis Anglet. <laughs> I really do need it. I have no other fixing. I mean, Rebuke is fine, Drain's Assistant is fine, but it's very likely this will probably table. Or maybe the Corpse Lunge even. But uh, Amulet, just because I'm so. Oh boy. Tough decisions again. I think another 5 drop, which is awesome. I love Banshee. Silent Forge is super, super good. Oh, 
but I, th I think we have enough sacking purposes. We're getting a lot of benefit from creatures dying. I mean, that's seven mana. The Stitchers and the Altar's Reef could get this guy going, but he usually can get going on his own. The question is, do we want it more or less than a Silent Departure? Three five drops. Probably not gonna play the cool colors chant. I think we take the Banshee, I think it's good enough. I mean, I, I love Silent Departure, but I think I rank Banshee higher? Yeah. There's our Shimmering Grotto. I mean, these aren't the easiest colors to meld together without some definite fixing. I mean, I would, I'd, I'd love a second priest, but I think our uh, fixing is more important. And we have a pretty good removal suit without it, so I think we have to take, we have to sacrifice a better card to get fixing. And what do we have? A whole bunch of garbage. I'm leaning towards Kthar. I mean, our human count is pretty low. That's ridiculous. Human, human. I guess we got some decent humans. And we're lacking a very... We have virtually no three drop creatures other than uh, Patricia. And Scarecrow, which is probably the sideboard. So he fills out our curve. He'll, he'll do fine. And what do we have? Scab? I want to skip. I feel a lot better with an burial rights. I don't think Wins deck benefits too much from self mill. We don't have any of the scabs. Or like, you know, makeshift molars, scab glass. So I'm leaning more towards mob. I think I like that. I mean, he pairs well with Stitch's Apprentice. That's like an early synergistic combo that can, you know, tie up some people, your opponent's resources. And then once they get done dealing with that, you start hitting them with the, the top end. And I think I like Mob in this deck. Another Scarecrow would be good, but Mob's fine. Wow. What do we go with? A Victim or a Claustrophobia? I think uh, we diversify our removal. Take Victim a Knight. We have a ton of removal going on. Yeah, I mean, black is going to be pretty important to us. We're going to have double black, so I think its mana cost isn't too troubling. I think it's, a, it's definitely a white splash. Blue, black, main. Which one's better? Is Claustrophobia better? I think this is instant, so we can trick them out. Wow! Such a great late pickup. That is awesome. I can't believe how late this went. That's perfect. I can't be happier. And I think we can pick up another trick. That's good. Uh, hmm. I think our, we're just going to be playing about every creature we have. And there's no way I'm playing that, so... I guess I just take another Corpse Lunge. Not too thrilling. Uh, I like Fortress Crab quite a bit. I think I like it more than Creepy Doll. Yeah, I'm happy with the crab. Uh, just because I don't want to get... I don't want to die to it. Blindness, sure. Skeleton, great. That's a nice pickup too. All right, so uh, I'm gonna have to be doing some major cutting here. I'll uh get through that and I'll show you what I've done. Alrighty, so this is where I'm at currently. I only have three planes with the grotto. I decided not to play the travelers on there because I think I had too many goodies. But uh, one drops. I mean, pretty clear. But I think I want to play Alter Reap. I mean, it really does only pair good with Mausoleum Guard, but you know, if they're gonna use removal on one of my creatures, I can reap in response and reap the benefits. I'm feeling red, good trick, think twice, cards, cards. I mean, I 
there's a lot of little synergies going on. The top end is looking real good. I mean, to me, it looks pretty solid. In terms of sideboard potential, I mean, we have a curse per million, I guess. But, uh, I mean, Crab didn't make it. Our top end is pretty, pretty thick. I mean, we have Scarecrow, which is one of the best sideboard cards you can ask for. So we don't have really too much to deal with flying until our late game kicks in. But uh, this is where I'm at. Kind of even split. I mean, one extra swamp over the island. To try and get the victim on turn two, and the plus probably on turn three. And I can live without getting you know, a turn two priest. But I think our mana should be okay, hopefully. I'm expecting a lot of weight to get pulled from this grotto. But uh, that's the deck. And I'll see you for round one.